Hi! <laughs> Hi. Uh, so I'm going to try to do this all in one cut, one take. It's not going to be my regular like jump, 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 jump video because I don't want this to be really entertainment value. Uh, it's just something that I want to discuss and have a conversation about with you as naturally and genuinely and raw as possible. So I don't want this to be like, you know what I mean? Uh, with that though, however, <laughs> comes with a lot of See, already, it's gonna be a lot of rambling, a lot of bumbling, a lot of trying to process my thoughts because I, I didn't write down or rehearse any of this. So whatever comes out is it. Let's do this. Uh, as promised, I am finally addressing this whole joke stealing scandal that keeps being brought up over and over and over again. Uh, at this point, I'm pretty good with it. I've kind of come to terms with what happened and I'm ready to fucking talk about it. I kind of wish I would have done it sooner. My reasoning for not doing it sooner is there, it just felt like there was no winning because I knew that if I said something, then it would be, oh, she's speaking up. So that means that she has to defend herself because she knows she's wrong. And if you don't speak in at all, then people are still saying she's not saying anything because she knows she's wrong. And with the internet, especially when somebody decides that they hate you, there's really not much changing their mind or anything that you can do to fix that. So at the time, uh, following the advice and feelings of myself, my friends, my family, management, colleagues, peers, I was just kind of told to stay silent and let it blow over because, I don't know, it, I just really couldn't deal with it at the time anyways. But I'm here, finally, ready to face this and kind of live up to it. Um, wow, two minutes in already. Great job. <laughs> so basically, I'm talking about this video that came out on December 23rd. The reason I remember it is December 23rd is because it was my entire Christmas and New Year's was on my phone when I should have been with my family, just like obsessed with comments and followers and subscribers and just kind of my world felt like it was collapsing in. And this guy made a video where he basically accused me of stealing jokes and profiting on other people's content and building this whole platform on other people's content and said that I was making money off the work of others, et cetera, et cetera. And he had four examples. Also, uh, I'm just gonna say this now, I haven't watched that video since it came out on December 23rd. So if some of these facts like a are a little off, like the exact wording or whatever, it's because I, I haven't watched it since, um, but they should be pretty accurate. So I think he had like four examples in there. Uh, the first one was a tweet from Bo Burnham and the wording was, the wording is a little off. It was like, fuck, I forgot the Titans or fuck, I keep forgetting the Titans or I forgot about the Titans, something like that. And then I had a tweet that was very similar and he pulled it up. I don't remember if it was exact words or very similar, but he pulled up the tweets, put them side by side and was like, look, Bo Burnham tweeted this. And then a couple months later, she tweeted this and they were actually years apart. If you look at the date, it was either two or three years apart. So basically, I, I didn't, I just didn't steal that. I, it's like either I creeped back on Bo Burnham for three years, which I'm probably the biggest Bo Burnham fan on the planet, but I didn't, I didn't do that. Or I saw the tweet and then was sitting on it, which was like waiting two or three years, waiting for the perfect moment to tweet it. That's not how it happened. I was just in a store and I saw Remember the Titans and I was with my friends and I was like, oh fuck, I forgot the Titans. And then I tweeted it. Again, I, I didn't steal it. I'm not saying that there isn't a chance that two or three years ago I was rolling through my feed and I don't know if I was following Bo on Twitter at the time. Maybe I saw it in my feed and laughed, stored it somewhere in my brain and then when I saw it, I thought it. But even if that happened, I never intentionally stole that joke. And then there were a couple others. One was Mitch Hedberg. I don't remember if there was another one that was in the tweets, but it was just like a bunch of like very similar thoughts of things that weren't particularly unique ideas, but I could see why if you're a huge Bo fan, you're a huge Mitch fan, you would look at that and say, damn, this bitch stole that. And I get that. And again, I'm a huge Mitch fan too. He's one of my absolute favorites, rest in peace. And I used to listen to that album once I saw um, the bit that they were talking about. I used to listen to that album all the time and watch the stand-up special on Netflix with my ex-boyfriend at the time. And yeah, I definitely, definitely, definitely heard that Mitch joke before. But 
when I said it in relation to, um, I forget, I don't even remember the exact wording of the tweet. Whatever it was, I remember like being with my grandma when I tweeted that and like it was in my head as a regular tweet. And I still to this day, when I look back at that, I don't think like, wow, I very vividly remember that. However, this Louis C.K. bit, the one that everybody, like that's the one that keeps getting recycled over and over and over as like, she steals jokes. Understandably so, because I think when you look at the other ones, you're sort of like, okay, that's kind of a stretch to say that she stole these tweets, whatever. But this Louis C.K. joke, the second I saw what he was doing where he put that next to that, like mine versus his, I was like, holy fucking shit. I stole that fucking joke right the fuck away. Like when I saw the Bo Burnham one, I was like, okay, absolutely not. Like I did not steal that joke. When I saw the Louis C.K. one, my heart dropped because I was like, holy fuck. I've heard this before. There's no way fucking around that. I heard it and I fucking said it. But I will say that it was not intentional. I listen to Louis C.K. almost every single morning. Uh, well, I don't anymore because now I'm kind of like scarred. But I used to play Pandora, Louis C.K. Station, um, Bo Burnham Station. Sometimes I would listen to Tosh, Tosh's, uh, Daniel Tosh's Station. And it's just a shuffle of comedians. So like all, every single morning I'd wake up. I'm doing my makeup, I'm eating breakfast, and I'm listening to Tom Segura, Patton Oswalt, Louis C.K., and they're all just these shuffled videos. And I've definitely, definitely, definitely heard Louis say that bit. No question. And people, a lot of people were saying that I watched it and that I stole that ah, hand motion, but I really didn't. I never saw the stand up. I 100% heard it. But uh, I feel like when you say, ah, that's just like, the thing you do with your hands, I don't know. So when I was writing this whole, I was trying to think of like a Thanksgiving themed video and I usually just tell stories, like I don't write or plan, I'm just like, hey, this happened in my day. And I remember like trying to write something Thanksgiving themed. First of all, it was fucking stupid in the first place because I was like, I thought that Columbus was at the first Thanksgiving, which is so embarrassing. And like I had a little intro to the video where I was like, hey, like Columbus sucks and it was just dumb. So I was like doing research on all this like shitty stuff Columbus did because I think at this point it's known that Columbus sucks, but it's stupid because it was Thanksgiving anyways. So I was trying to think of like shitty stuff that Columbus did and one of the one things that, one of the, it's just like everybody talks about it. Like you learn about it in school, you talk about it in school, you talk about it with your friends, you talk about it every Thanksgiving, every Columbus, Columbus Day is how we called the Native Americans Indians and he was mistaken about them being Indians, but we still call them that. and. That, I don't think that's a unique thought, but the way I delivered it was fucking Louie. There's no, no question that I heard it, it was in my brain, and I said it. But I didn't realize it until I saw it back to back. And I know that there's going to be plenty of people who say that that's a lie. And there's nothing I can do about that. Um, I commented right away, and I was like, fuck, you know what, you're right. I admit this, I didn't do it on purpose, but I did steal this joke. It's not cool, it's not okay. I set that video to private pretty much right away and I actually got called out for setting it to private saying that like I was trying to hide the evidence. The reason I set that video to private is because I don't want to profit off other people's work. I don't want my channel to have other people's work on it. And there was a large chunk of that video that was somebody else's comedy. And I don't want people to watch that and think that that's my original thoughts. I don't like, I didn't want to profit on it anymore. It's as simple as that. There just comes a point where it was like, what what's done is done, this sucks. And it really got blown out of, not blown out of proportion because it is a big deal. So I don't really want to say that I got blown out of proportion, but it blew up in a way that I wasn't anticipating I don't know how to say what I'm saying. This is why it's hard not to cut your videos. Also, the reason that I really felt the need to make this video is, and this is moving away from the Louis CK thing. No, actually, I would like to stay on the Louis CK thing one more second and talk about this, how like sometimes you hear things and you don't remember. And like the other day, for example, I said something to my friend Carly and I thought it was so funny. And I was like laughing hysterically at the idea and then I was walking, I was watching back my vlog footage from when I was with her actually like a week and a half earlier because all my vlogs are like backlogged as fuck. 
and I was watching it and she said in the vlog to me what I said to her that I thought was an original thought. And like, I wasn't really paying attention when she said it and I like kind of chuckled in the vlog and like, it didn't really register with me. But that's just like an example of sometimes you hear something, you don't consciously hear it and it's like in your brain. And then sometimes you think that you just like came up with it and you just fucking didn't. And I know that it's hard to look at a bit from beginning to end and be like, okay, you didn't realize that you did that. But I've, I heard it on Pandora multiple times and I just, ugh, it sounds like I'm making an excuse and I'm not. The point of this video is to admit that it was, it's not okay. And, you know, I actually, again, this looks like I'm trying to make excuses, but I just, I do feel the need to defend myself a little bit because the way I was painted was I am a joke thief and I steal all my content and I built this entire platform on stealing jokes and I make all this money off stealing jokes, but I make a lot of content, a lot. At that point, I had over 100 YouTube videos. I had almost 800 vines. And to say that out of all of that content because of that bit that I stole, it blows. It, it blows to have all of your stuff labeled as stolen and say that all of the money that you're making and all of the followers that you've gained is unjustified. That really blows because I really do put a lot of work into what I do on my own. And somebody actually sent me this link of when Dane Cook got a accused of us uh, stealing from Louis and it was kind of like the exact same situation actually where he was like dude I have hours of stand-up I don't need to steal this one joke whatever and Louis's response I don't I should have had it up before but I don't want to take too much time looking for it because this is an uncut video what Louis said was you know am I saying that Dane Cook stole these jokes no I don't know that am I saying that maybe he heard them liked them forgot about them and then you know, wrote them and thinking that, that they were his own. Like, it was basically what I'm saying. He's like, I don't know, you know, people absorb things and people are sponges and you soak this stuff in and when you're hungry for content, these are Louis's words, when you're hungry for content and like you're th you have to create content to live and survive and make money, this is your job, sometimes you pull stuff, be like you have to. It's like a survival thing almost. And I saw that and I was like, ugh. I wish Louie could say that about this, but like he doesn't give a fuck about me, like I don't matter. <laughs> and I just think people should be a little more forgiving when it's stuff like that. And, but I understand why they're not. And I, I thanked the guy who made the video, I was like, yo, thank you for doing stuff like this because like people do need to be called out and thank you for me calling me out because this is something that I need to learn. This is something I need to like fucking learn a lesson about this. And I did, <laughs> very much so. And honestly, be careful before you jump on someone. And like, again, this isn't me saying joke stealing is okay. Like joke stealing fucking sucks. It's terrible. And like, I'm so ashamed and embarrassed that all of that happened. Like if I could change one thing in my life, it would probably be that. But everyone, especially in the comedy world, I feel like everyone's kind of been accused at some point. Like there are examples where Louis has stuff that's ripped off almost exactly from David Cross. There's stuff where like Dane Cook copied this person and like there's just so many different things. Amy Schumer got accused of stealing jokes. Like so many people get accused of stealing jokes. I don't know why this particular guy chose to come at me um, considering how many people there are on the internet doing this type of thing, and I must have really rubbed him the wrong way. Maybe he just particularly loves Louis. I'm not sure what it is. But this is another reason I wanted to make this video. Because when I was first coming up on the internet, and this is addressing the other part of the stuff that I was dealing where I'm not even saying that it was like forgetting that I, that I saw it. Like I straight up was stealing tweets. If I was on a meme page, and I saw tweets that I thought were funny and were like, were getting shared over and over and over and over and over. I would copy and paste and tweet it because that's just what I saw was being done. That doesn't make it okay. I'm not saying that because all of these other influencers and creators and YouTubers and Viners were doing it that it's okay. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is as somebody that was young and aspiring to be something, like these people, you look at what they're doing and you're like, oh, I see what they're doing. They're taking these memes that they saw um, on the comedy hood pages and then they're tweeting them and they're getting a lot of likes and retweets and then that's making their page grow. I'm gonna do that. So I did. 
I saw that on Vine. People were making Vines that they saw memes of on Tumblr. So I did. And again, I'm not saying that's okay. I'm not giving that to you as an excuse. I'm saying it because I learned my lesson in this that that's not fucking right. And it's happening a lot. And I don't want any of you who may be young and aspiring to be a comedian or be in this industry to look up to me or somebody else who is stealing jokes and say, oh, well, that's how you grow your page. That's how you get a lot of retweets. That's how you get a lot of refines. You have to copy this. Like, it, you know, it's just not, it's just not good form. It's bad. <laughs> that was like the most rudimental. This is not good. It's bad. But seriously. And I feel, and actually it was a comedian named um, Steve Hofstetter. I don't know if I'm saying his name correctly, but yeah, I feel like that's right where he was the one who really pushed me to make this video months ago and I was too much of a little bitch to do it. And he was like, hey, like you have this responsibility. Like it's not cool for you to allow your fans to think that this is okay. Your fans are in the comments saying, so she stole one little joke, who cares? Everybody steals jokes, it's not a big deal. Yes, it is a big deal because those tweets that I stole, yeah, maybe they were like recycled over and over and over again. Maybe they had been stolen a million times and I was by no means the first person to steal that tweet. But somebody fucking wrote that tweet. And even if I couldn't track them down because like a couple words were changed and it was, if you didn't write it, don't post it. And like on my Facebook page, like I still post memes, but like I think it's obvious that I'm not writing them. Whereas before what I was doing was I would find a meme that I thought was funny, I would post the picture to Facebook and then I would write it as text on Twitter because pictures do better on Facebook, text does better on Twitter. And I didn't really understand the implications of me doing that. Because now I get it because now I'm not a fucking moron and in retrospect everything is common sense but the amount, the not even the amount, the lack of common sense that I had at the time in this situation is unreal. Because in my head I was like okay well I'm not claiming that I wrote this tweet, I wrote it like I just copied and pasted it because it's funny and I wanted to share it with my friends. It's the same as like when you tweet a song lyric like I don't tag the band like I'm just tweeting a song lyric because I like it so if I like a joke I tweet it because I like it. That was the dumb fucking thought process that I was having. That's fucking stupid because I guess I didn't realize at the time that I was considered a comedy creator because I've never looked at myself as a comedian. I would just thought of myself as like a dumb kid who shares funny shit on the internet. But when you come to my page, you s you're coming because you want to see my content. You're coming because you want to see my comedy. So if I tweet something that wasn't my thought that I just thought was funny, then people are gonna fucking think I wrote it. So whether or not I went into that saying like, oh, I hope everybody thinks I'm this funny, it's, it doesn't matter what my intention was. The fact of the matter was, I was ignorant and I made a really fucking stupid mistake. And I'm paying for it now and I've paid for it. And honestly, I'm, I'm glad it happened when it did, as much as it hurt and as much as it sucked, because I just learned earlier in my career that what's right and what's wrong. And now I can kind of pass that message along. And for everybody who was defending me saying like, oh, who cares? She stole one joke. It's not a big deal. Thank you for doing that. But it is a big deal. And even though the video that was made about me was really cruel and it seemed to come more of like a hateful place than, than like a productive, constructive place, it happened. And it fucking happened. And I'm, I feel like there's more I want to say. And if I think of more after I end this video, then I will come back and say it awkwardly at the end. But I'm fucking sorry to anybody that I hurt. I'm sorry to anybody who felt disrespect, disrespected and dishonored. I'm sorry that it took so long for me to own up to this and talk about it. And I've learned to not be that person. And I'm very grateful that I got called out. I wish that I could have been called out in a more private, respectable manner. I wish some, you know, somebody kind of could have taken me under the ring and been like, hey, like, this isn't cool. That's my battery. Hey, this isn't cool. Like, you got to be more careful or whatever. But now I triple check everything. I like Google it in 10 different forms. I'm like, did somebody say this before? And I do my very fucking best to make sure that I'm not doing this fucking forgetting that I saw it or you know what I mean I'm trying my fucking best and we're all people and do I have anything else to say 
Don't steal shit. <laughs> uh, yeah. I guess that's it. Oh, and I already know people are gonna say like, she's only talking about it now because she got caught and she only cares because she got caught. Maybe, I don't. I guess I don't know because like I, I was caught. So I, I hope, like in my mind, I really hope that at some point I would have come around and be like, hey, this is kind of shitty. Like maybe you shouldn't do this, but I for sure fucking know now. And whether it's, whether the fact that I'm coming to this realization and sending out this message because I got caught and I had to, or whether I would have come around to it eventually anyways, you can't say, cause we're never in that situation. I coming to the realization and I wanna put it out there. No, I didn't intentionally maliciously steal from Louie or Bo or Mitch. Yes, I did intentionally steal tweets, but it wasn't malicious either. I just was fucking ignorant and stupid and saw everybody else doing it. So I thought it was okay and it's fucking not. And you can expect nothing but, I mean, I don't know if it's gonna be original because I'm not that creative or funny, but you can only expect stuff that came from my own brain from now on. And that's all I've been putting out since that came out in December. I've been very careful. And I think I, I lost a lot of respect from a lot of people. And that's something that I also have to deal with. And that kind of hurts. And to all those people, I'm really fucking sorry too. And I hope that you can see this in some type of genuine light. I know that if you hate me, you hate me and you'll never stop hating me. And that's just the way it is. But at least I said what I could. And, oh, before I close, I just want to say it one more time. I am in no way saying that the jokes that I stole were okay or justified or I had a reason or an excuse. These aren't, well, it's a reason, not an excuse. I don't want you to think that I'm trying to, like, chicken out or, like, make people feel bad for me. I did just want to defend myself a little and kind of maybe help you understand that I was dumb and I didn't get it. And now I fucking get it. Still don't have a sign off. Bye.